Okay, yesterday I spoke about accidental apprenticeships and how if we remain open, there might be people right in front of us to help us along our journey. With that said, I do think that sometimes we could place too much weight in the opinions of others, meaning how they feel about our decisions, both positive and negative, can sometimes influence us in a way. It's kind of like when I'm asking someone for feedback. There are times that I ask for feedback and legitimately want feedback in a way that refines me and makes me better. And then other times, I'm not really asking for feedback. I'm asking for affirmation. When you're looking at your journey and what you want to do, you have to be very conscious of that because there have been times I've asked for feedback and I'll just get affirmation, which is frustrating because I want to be refined. And then there are other times I ask for affirmation, but I phrase it in a way that's feedback. And when the person doesn't tell me the answer that I like, it pisses me off. The other thing is when you have a dream inside of you or something that's driving you to do something, keep in mind that not everyone's going to agree with you. And there might be times when people just flat out can freeze you in your path or they might just not get it. They might not understand your passion for this thing. Not everyone is gonna agree with you, and sometimes it seems like no one will agree with you. But don't let that sway whether or not you pursue your dreams and what you wanna do. Because at the end of the day, it's your life. Mentors are good, refinement is good, but what's not good is when we do or don't do something because we're afraid of the opinions of others. That might be fear to step out and look like a fool, right? I had those thoughts and starting this vlog. And that might be fear because maybe it goes against the opinion of someone I really trust that might think my idea is a bad idea or might not completely agree. What I'm getting to is that if you're asking for refinement, that's good. But if you're asking for permission to do that thing that you want to do, I think that's where we have to stop and analyze. I don't need this person's permission to do this. I would like their affirmation. I would like their support. But in a lot of times, we see this in a lot of people's paths. A majority of the time, it's a lonely place because not everyone is going to understand the passion that you have and the drive that you have towards this thing. And you might reach a lot of opposition. So today, if you're thinking about doing something, if there's that blog you want to start or that vlog or that podcast, or just start writing or you have personal goals, welcome refinement, welcome feedback, because it makes us better and it makes our craft better. But if you're looking for permission, you don't need that permission from other people. Grant yourself the permission along your journey to start or keep moving.